Breaking news, Buhari bringing it again through the back door. President Muhammad Buhari has, in, has established 108 farm estate headers settlement in disguise. Afeni Ferry alert Nigerians. So Buhari is going, however way he wants to go through it, he wants to go, he wants to bring this ruga by fire or by force. This is his, this is his birth purpose. Okay, the reason why Buhari was born is so that he can establish the Fulanis when he become president. And he seemingly feels like he's failing because all quarters seem to be blocked on every side. For starters, the, the southern governors have gone ahead now and have put a ban on open grazing. Now he has used another name from Ruga to uh, giving a ranching from ranching now. He said that, well, it's, an, it's 108, 108 farms estates across the country for header settlements do you understand so afeni ferry is telling nigerians is don't tell you not saying a farm settlement so who get the land they want to do the farm settlement buhari is just a tog okay it's just uh, somebody who is using uh, maybe not a tog a tog will be a wrong word to use okay a tog will be a wrong it's a very that's a very hard word so uh sorry about that but buhari is just that person who you know is is deceitful that's the word that's the word please don't forget to give us a thumbs up subscribe if this is your first time let's get all the details the pan yoruba social political organization afeni ferry has condemned president muhammad buhari's plan to establish integrated farm estate in the 108 sanitarian district of the country can you see him enforcing fulanis into every nook and cranny of the country okay the group was reacting to the directive of the by the president to the national agricultural land development agency to set up integrated farm estate nationwide whether you like it or not if you like ban open grazing they're going to set it nationwide in a statement by the secretary general of the group mr solo on wednesday afeni ferry described the planned program of the federal government as another strategy of acquiring land for the runs for the settlement of headsmen across all the states in Nigeria. Buhari is bringing it on every side in every way to ensure that full needs are settled in Nigeria. According to him, the integrated farm estates are designed to acquire all forms of agricultural practices, including animal husbandry, which would effectively end mark a portion of the acquired vast land as effective grazing reserve without saying so he said but nigerians are not i no way deceived that the urge purpose attached to the program by president muhammad buhari is equally parallel zeal with the creation of settlement village villages for fulani headsmen across all the states in nigeria from everywhere and anywhere on the ancestral land of other nationalities which is fullness of time will become colonies of the tyrant as they are in the in southern kaduna today killing the people and want to put, dispossess them of their land and take their land at all costs and on plateau and many other parts in the middle belt this is the sole plan of the fulanese they come subtly like they are coming to stay before you know it they begin to kill the natives the, cross, the cry across the land is that our president should rise to the primary responsibility of ensuring security of lives and, proper, and properties, especially for farmers, that they may feed the nation. If we, if we may ask, will the president and the federal government, will they build military barracks stronger than the Nigerian Defense Academy in those farm estates? That Fulanese will not begin to kill people and that will become their base for settlement through which they begin to kill people. President Muhammad Buhari needs to be reminded that none of his predecessors who showed greater interest in agriculture was so convinced, was so covetous of land seeking to walk over above the federation states. Not even the military government of Obasanjo in all his operation feed the nation, Shewu Shagari, Green Revolution, rather than seeking land by force which it has no power over by the constitution of land use act 
the imposing of the type of agricultural practice on the state let the federal government provide resources, incentives to the state in their areas to, com to compensate advantage, thus in the choice of agriculture that they want to practice, the Niger Delta state may choose aquaculture while the North may choose Ayo's boundary. The president has not denied that his government has disbursed more than $5 billion to his state, Castina home, his home state, Castina, for ranching without breeding over them for specific land, but asking other states to provide land for Fulanese. Apart from the federal government having no power over land, it cannot also compel the states to acquire the ancestral land of other people for the personal use of his constitutional drive to settle Fulanese at all costs. The military base of Nigeria was evaded and top military persons were killed. So how, what is he going to do to secure lives and property? For the states in the Southwest, including Edo Delta, this government has nothing to teach us in farm estates. Let Buhari see, chase the killers, Fulani headsmen from our land and the people will prosper. We are not asking for settlement at any point. For any, of any kind. So this is what is happening. Buhari is bringing Ruga again through the back door. Buhari is bringing it in whatever way he wants to bring it. He wants to ensure that Nigerians, you know, imbibe the Fulanese. This is how Fulanese came subtly, deceived the people of the north, and today we can see how they are destroying the lives and property. If their forefathers have seen that these people that are coming peacefully, coming as though they are peaceful people, are going to be killing their children someday, destroying their lives. I believe that they would have desisted from what they were doing then. Today you can see what is happening. Go to go to the middle belt and see for yourself. Go and see how they are destroying lives and property. Go and see what they are doing there. Go and see how they are, you know, making life unbearable. Nigerians wake up. Buhari wants to settle his people at all costs. Whether you like it or not, he wants to ensure that they have a place in Nigeria. This is Buhari's sole purpose. This is Buhari's sole purpose to ensure that Fulanese are settled in Nigeria because they are wanderers, you see. They have no place. They move from place to place. They are wanderers. They have no place. And so Buhari wants to ensure at all, by all means possible, that he give them a place in Nigeria, which is, not, which is not their own because they don't have any place, you see. But Buhari wants to ensure that he give them a place in Nigeria. So wake up. Wake up, my people. There is more to this than beneath the eyes. Leave us a comment. God bless you. Bye for now.